Welcome back to another installment in the never-ending 9mm ammo quest where I'm looking to find the best performing self-defense ammo, not hunting, but self-defense, from a 3-inch barrel pocket pistol. Common types of pistols in use today. And I tested a round from Corbon, the DPX 115 grain, which was a stellar performer. I was really blown away with just how well that did. And immediately the uh, request started coming in on the channel, test the 95 grain version. Why haven't you tested the 95 grain version? Well, you test the 95 grain version. Well, here's the 95 grain version. In general, uh, I gotta say, in general, I prefer heavier bullets over lighter bullets. Uh, they just have more mass, they have more momentum in that way. Uh, I just like the idea of doing damage with a heavier bullet. But when you get to the three inch barrel, uh, sometimes heavier bullets just don't work out all that well. For example, I've, it's been a struggle to find good performing 147 grain bullets. I've had great performers in uh, 115 and 124. I found a couple in 147, but not many. So why not? Why don't we try a lighter bullet, 95 grain? Corbon, they have a philosophy that velocity is king, and by making a lighter bullet, they can get the velocity back up. So the way they market this is that you know, you lose velocity out of a shorter barrel. So they say that the performance you would get from the 115 grain out of a full-size gun is the kind of performance you will get from a pocket pistol using these. You'll get that velocity back up. Well, we'll find out. Through the bear gel, the 95 grain TPXs did excellently. Now we did have one come up a hair short. The shortest one was at 11 and a half. But other than that, we had two at 12 and a quarter and two at 12 and a half. Now I'd like to see every bullet come in over 12 inches, obviously, but you gotta hand it to the Corbons. They did perform very consistently. On average, they are above 12. So it's not a perfect performance, but it's way better than I was expecting from a little tiny 95 grain bullet. They really uh, surprised me. Let's try the denim. Through the denim, we got pretty much exactly what we were looking for. The shortest bullet was at 12 inches. We had one at 12 and a half, one at 12 and three quarters, and the furthest bullet was 13 and a quarter. So for the four examples we got, they're great. These uh, little tiny lightweight bullets did just fine. Bullet exam for the Corbon DPXs. Not much to say, they're kind of perfect. As far as consistency of expansion, they all expanded very consistently. These are the bare bullets, they did great. They did bend back very far. You can tell the impact of the velocity really bent those pedals backwards. And these are the bullets from the denim, which they also performed perfectly. You can see that there are a couple of plugs of denim in there, but it made no difference. They didn't clog up or fail. They did just fantastic. So they penetrated deep, they expanded well. Why are they not my favorite bullet in the world? Uh, mainly, I mean, just look. These are also Corbon DPXs. Those are the 115s. These are 95, these are the 115. It's just a lot bigger. The 115 has more metal to work with and it didn't peel back quite as far as the 95s did. 115s were going at a slower velocity, obviously, because they're heavier, and the pedals didn't pull back quite as far. That left them with a little bit bigger size. And the one that really pay attention to is the denim bullet. The bear gel bullets are an example of how big the bullets get in the best case, but when coroners or surgeons are actually pulling bullets out of human uh, victims, shooting victims, they say that the bullet looks a lot more like the denim tested one. So if we look at the denim bullet, uh, there's just, to me, there's a notable difference, not night and day, but notable difference in size between the 115 and the 95. So the 95 did exactly what it was asked to do and it did it well, but in my gun, I would still prefer the 115 just because of the bigger size. All right, final wrap up on the 95 grain TPX. Really very good. 
better than I was expecting. The bullets through the denim all performed exactly as I wanted them to. In bear gel, we did have one bullet that came up one half of one inch short of the 12 inch minimum that I'm looking for. And look, that's, I mean, that's, that's trivial uh, in a real world scenario. In my test for the best ammo, I want to see them come in above the 12 because they can. And, and I can be a stickler on that because I've had several good ones, including the 115 grainers do that. But if you were already carrying these, I wouldn't worry about that. One out of nine bullets that came one half inch short is not enough to disqualify these. I thought these were great. I do still think that the, the 115 grainers are better though, because it's just, it's a bigger bullet. There's more metal to work with. It expanded bigger. Uh, they penetrated a little deeper. And remember that 12 inches is our bare minimum that we're looking for. So more than the minimum is, is, is better than the minimum. And so I give these high ratings. I think they're very good. They're not gonna win my quest here because we've seen better performers, including the 115 grain from Corbon, but they're still very good. And if you are one who follows the Corbon philosophy that velocity is king, well, you definitely get more velocity out of these lighter weights. I mean, over 1300 feet per second is nothing to sneeze at. So good round, performed well. Uh, I think there may be some that are a little better, but this is still very good. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and also be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video is posted.